morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas to all of you this uh, beautiful uh, Christmas day. Uh, our service is uh, primarily printed for us. Uh, when we get to the back, we'll switch into our uh, hymnal um, uh, uh, after the sermon. Um, uh, the sermon's a little uh, different today in that uh, after the creed, uh, I'll, I'll be uh, preaching right away. So we won't start our uh, uh, hymn of the day until well into the sermon. So uh, just be prepared. Uh, right after the Nicene Creed, I'll navigate to the pulpit, uh, and, and uh, we'll take it verse by verse as we go. We start our service, so by singing our first hymn, 374. Hymn 374. Jesus' sake, 
Jesus has ransomed us from death and sin, and eternity in God's presence is ours. In the stead of my command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I therefore forgive you all of your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May you see that we sing hymn 383. 383. Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his 
holy arm before the eyes of all the nations, and all the ends of the earth shall see the salvation of our God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We turn into the front section of our hymnal for the souls. We find Psalm 96. Psalm 96 in the front part of our hymnal. We speak it together whole verse by whole verse. Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Tell of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the peoples are worthless. Idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Slender and majesty are before him, strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the peoples, ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory to his name. Bring an offering and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the splendor of holiness. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that it fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall all in his faithfulness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The epistle reading appointed for uh, this Christmas day is from the book of Hebrews, chapter 1. Long ago, at many times, and in many ways, God spoke to our fathers by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. He is the radiance of the glory of God and the exact imprint of his nature. And he upholds the universe by the word of his power. After making purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you? Or again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, let all God's angels worship him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We turn to him 391 and 391. We stand as we sing and as we hear the words of the Holy Gospel.
the first chapter. Angels sing, angels we 
have heard on high, silent night, O come, O ye faithful, and on and on and on. No, even people who are not churchgoers could mumble out a few verses of some of these hymns. It's how commonplace they are. With that in mind, we're about to sing probably one of the not of the top ten Christmas carols that would be in your book. Some of you may be not, uh, haven't sung this yet at all. <clears throat> the tune's a little tricky. The words are pretty bulky and wordy and old-fashioned. So you might wonder, with all of the other wonderful options out there, why are we going to sing again 372? Oh, Jesus Christ, thy manger is. I'm going to spend the next few moments answering that question. And my hope is, when I'm done, this hymn will be your favorite Christmas carol of all time. I don't know that I can quite accomplish that, but maybe at least you will find a little more appreciation in these words penned by Paul Gerhardt, written about a hundred years after Martin Luther lived. So with that introduction, we sing verse 1. We sing verse 1 of hymn 372. Is 
yourself. This baby will one day calm the wind and the seas. He will walk on the water. In fact, he is God himself, the one who created all things, the one who has a throne in heaven to judge and to rule. And yet the Lord Jesus sets all of that aside to serve the sinner in great meekness. That's you and that's me. Not only that, but in the person, Jesus Christ, God actually joins our weakness. Have you ever been tired? Have you ever mourned the death of a loved one? Have you ever been hungry? Have you ever been betrayed by a friend? God knows exactly what that feels like because he lived it through his son. We sing verse 3.
reminder how greatly God must love you if he joins himself to your flesh and blood. We finish out the hymn and sing verses 5 and 6. <laughs>
That begins on page 192. Page 192 in our hymnal. Please stand as we sing.
Jesus Christ on the same night when he was betrayed took bread and after he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said take eat this is my body which is given for you this do in remembrance of me in the same manner after supper he also took the cup and after he had given thanks he gave it to his disciples and said Drink of it, all of you. This cup is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And the peace of the Lord be with you always.
continues on page 199, page 199. Please stand as we sing.